Welcome over Unity friends and Free Energy friends. We are trying now to open up a sealed, uh, sealed rechargeable lead acid battery here. This is pretty much dead. This battery only 10.77 volts, and uh, I want to show you how to revive this uh, battery now. And uh, it's probably dried out, so we are going to try to open it up now and see uh, how it goes. Okay. Okay, don't forget to put gloves on and goggles. Um, yo, um, because we are dealing here with acid, it's not too good if you get that into your eyes, so kids don't play with that. It's pretty dangerous. Okay, I already opened up here at this side uh, the case a bit with the. Uh, sometimes I get uh, off pretty easily, and now you see here these um, um, these gum. Um, uh, what is called the plastic rubber? knobs here, these are these filling ports for the six cells, this is a six cell, six cells are two volts, so 12 volts uh, battery, six filling ports and these are probably, um, uh, there came the, um, the water is just evaporated and we have to refill this uh, now, so I have to open this up now and refill it with just distilled water. Okay, in a moment I'm okay, back. I will open up now the single cells and get rid of these uh, rubber. Oh, you can see already it sushes, makes a sound. Because I tried to charge it up with a pulse charger and oh, the uh, these go pretty. I have to the last two I uh, I'm using for the German video. Okay, I will be back. Okay, I am using now such a funnel with um, with such uh, a syringe uh, body because the opening is pretty small. I don't know if you can see that. Um, with my little funnels, I don't get it into that, so I have to use this construction setup to to fill in the distilled water. Okay, okay, I will now fill the first cell. I have my gloves on. Sorry, they are a little bit dirty from my other graphite work. Let's see. Okay. Cautiously. Well, take pretty much. Oops, shit. Okay, we are taking pretty good dose of distilled water, so they were pretty dry. Let's see. Syringe has. Okay, I will now fill all the other cells also and come back. Okay, okay, now I filled uh, the battery until the top and I will um, remove the overflow fluid here. So I hope you can see the voltmeter over here, but I will tell it also. Now we will just um, measure the cells, I'm going here to from minus to the next 1.54, 1.53, oops, 
you only zero point hmm uh, how all these cells connected together hmm this seems to be a bad cell here from here to here and then all these cells are connected Point six two. Okay. One point six one. Hmm. These are it doesn't have contact yet. Zero point two. That's that seems to be a bad cell here. Two point one seven. Has been charged up. Two point fourteen. Two point twelve. So we probably have two bad cells. One over here, and this zero point seven, and yeah, this one is okay. Hmm, so the first one is not too good, 1.81, but that could be also charge dependent, and this one, 0 0.16, hmm, okay, I will be back. Well, um, if you look closely, you can see this battery has built up a boop so raised over here so this cell is definitely defected I just refilled a little bit again and but it doesn't come back the voltage so this cell is this cell is damaged and also this to this is damaged a bit so I don't know if you can see that here this bulk coming up here this bubble already pulls the plastic up so yeah probably I have to open up now the whole battery to see what one can do about this and see how the lead plate also is this still connected here or something like this so otherwise yeah, this has to be recycled back to the um, to the recycling place uh, where you can dump off the acid batteries. Okay, this is for now.